Trump shouldn't squander Mueller reports aftermath by closing the border. Editors note the opinions in this article are the authors, as published by our content partner, and do not necessarily represent the views of MSN or Microsoft. With the Russian collusion narrative exposed as fake news, President Trump has perhaps the best opportunity of his presidency to expand his base of support. He shouldn't squand- Without Russia collusion accusations dogging him, Trump has the potential to pick up the support of some independents and the rough IAA of Republicans who don't already support him. Charles Cook, yet Trump will throw away this goodwill you just as he did in the aftermath of the Justice Kavanaugh nomination you if he chooses to again veer off course to follow the anti-immigration siren song. If we don't make a deal with Congress, the border's going to be closed. Trump IR reporters on Tuesday. 100%. Over the past week, such a move would hurt the economy you something that even Trump admits you and alienate exactly the type of independent and suburban voters Republicans need to win in 2020. Shutting down border traffic would the economy more than $1 billion a day you over 1.5% of US GDP. Tens of thousands, closing the southern border would disproportionately impact border states like Arizona and Texas, which will be competitive in 2020. Same goes for the supporters of the president's border threat, dismissively off economic harm as just raising the price of guacamole. But Republicans need the kicker closing the border to legal traffic would do little to nothing to stem the flow of illegal migrants. Even Newt Gingrich, Trump should have already learned his lesson about squandering political opportunity by overreacting on immigration. In the wake of the cap, yet, rather than reach out to these sometimes Trumpers to expand the Republican base, Trump instead went full anti-immigrant. In the span of a cup, the result? Republicans suffer. These lost districts are more immigrant, more diverse, more college-educated, faster-growing, and younger than the rest of the country. They are districts that, to win these suburban districts, which will increasingly determine statewide and national elections, Trump and Republicans must offer a uniting pro-growth message rather than a divisive anti-immigrant one. The conclusion of the Mueller report has given Trump and Republicans a second serve at expanding their support above 50% of the electorate. Closing the Southern Jordana Bruno is an immigration policy analyst in Los Angeles. Drop top, top smoking, no cooking the hot pot. Yeah, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up.